ಆಶೇಷ ಅನಂತ ಸಯ್ಯನ ಆಶೇಷ ಅನಂತ ಸಯ್ಯನ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ ಕುಲಭೂಷಣ ಯಶೋಧನ ದನ ಅಯತು ಕುಲಭೂಷಣ ಯಶೋಧನ ದನ ಐರಾಧಾಪತೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಐರಾಧಾಪತೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಶಾಂಬರ ದೀಪರ್ತಿ ವಾಸ ಹೇ ಕಾಶಾಂಬರ ದೀಪರ್ತಿ ವಾಸ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕೂ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಸ ದಿ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಲ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಮಂಗ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ದಿಸ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ i see it happening without planning i have not planned 
I never thought it either. It suddenly happened. On one day in the afternoon, I hear a knock on the door. I open the door. I find three bumping into the room. One is very familiar to me because I stayed with him at his residence 10 years ago. And we meet him quite often. The other two are quite new. But in Sai, will never make anybody new to anyone. Sai brings all together. We are all one family. And then the one whom I know very intimately happened to be Mr. Sachem Chaudhary, who invited me long back, 10 years ago, to San Jose on Ishrama Day, if I am right. I do have that wonderful album with me. Whosoever that come to my residence are quite eager to look into those photos. And then he introduced me, Zoan and Zeri, who also accompanied him. Well, in the course of the talk, they said, why don't you come to California, Santa Clara, we are going to have some meeting there. I wonder how they come to know that I'll be visiting US. I didn't tell anybody because it has not been confirmed. But with Anil Kumar, nothing can be confidential. <laughs> Before things take a shape, they'll go around the whole world. I said, yes, sir, I'm coming. Then Sachem Chaudhary said, please visit. I said, yes. So I heard myself saying yes. I don't know. The eye to eye, you see, I heard myself say yes. And that brought me here. Maybe Bhagwan's divine will. Bhagwan is to be created solely for this. I, could, I would rather say, I am here in spite of me. And had I not been here, I would have felt a lot because seeing all of you so eager to know about Swami. And this is the time when people will have to go around and talk to each other, inspire each other. No one is superior to anybody. No one can claim to be knowing more than anybody. It's only a question of sharing, that's all. It's a question of sharing. You tell me what you know. In turn, I'll tell you what I know. That's all. Only exchange. There's only one knower, that's all. Known may be many. Knower is one. I really congratulate Prema Rao for having selected this topic. Eye to eye transformation. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations for selecting this team and all that, or the team of people. You are the head of the team anyway. Congratulations. This is a wonderful topic that deserves our consideration and serious thought and application thereafter, particularly today when Swami is not amidst us physically. It is not transformation exactly. It is awareness eye to eye. Awareness of the other eye. We know one eye. We are not aware of the other eye. If it is transformation, you stop there ignoring the other. Not one getting transformed into the other. We are aware of both who are actually one and the same. My friends, I is known to everybody, which we have been carrying with us over years and years, lives and lives. Bahunam, Bahunam, Janmani. As Bhagavad Gita says, lives after lives after lives, we are carrying this I. Ask anybody, 
glad to see you. What are you? I am so and so. Uh huh, are you? He doesn't stop there. You know, I, you, I we have known sufficiently, but, but yet, I, uh -huh. I did that. I, I am so and so. Ah, 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 ah. So this I, we know. Bhagavan, in interviews and also in his discourses, he refers to this particular uh, episode or this particular way of introducing the I. My friends, I don't speculate. I don't need to quote any other sacred text because I believe Bhagwan Sri Satsai Baba is ultimate. Bhagwan Sri Satsai Baba is ultimate. We don't have to read any other book. He's ultimate. Before I just go into that, a little anecdote that happened in my individual life. Bhagwan visited Godavari districts in the year 1983 or 86. He visited Godavari districts. I was there. I followed Swami and uh, I was translating his talks and of course that being Telugu area, he made me speak for some time and Bhagwan spoke l later everywhere in every uh, Sai Center. And a particular time uh, at the dining table in the evening, he said, Anil Kumar, I am not happy with you. <laughs> I am not happy with you. I followed him for a couple of days and giving talks, uh, preceding his divine discourse. And he says, fine evening, I am not happy with you. Well, that being first exposure to be very, very close to Swami, very intimate to Swami, first exposure, I could venture to say, Swami, I take leave of you. I will go home. Since you are not happy with me, permit me to go back. Let me know why you are not happy. You know what Baba said? I am not happy with you because all these meetings I have been observing you. You have been saying repeatedly, Baba said, Baba said, Baba said. What will people feel? They think that uh, you are my trumpet or what? <laughs> and do you think that I brought you for propaganda or what? Then I said, if you feel so, Swami, please let me go. He said, why? Right from my childhood, I have been listening to spiritual discourses right from my childhood. And I am familiar with many, many teachers, gurus, and all, many. And I'm also very fond of spiritual literature. I have gone through many books. But Bhagwan, having listened to you, I don't want to listen to anybody else. Having gone through this Sai literature, I don't need any more. Yes. Therefore, if you want me to speak, I can speak only what you said, nothing else, because nothing attracts me. Then Baba said, see that. I know that. But these people also should know that, that you speak about me only. So let them know. You understood? That is Anil Kumar's Baba said. Because Baba's message is ultimate. We don't need to, I mean, quote any other scripture or anybody. Because unity, yes, uni, unity church, that's what they said. Bhagwan Baba's message unifies, integrates all religions, all faiths. You don't have to uh, go beyond that. Nothing is beyond also. Instead of Swallowing A vitamin, B vitamin, C vitamin, one after one. Better you have multivitamin tablet, one. That is such a Sai Baba. <laughs> that is such. Because it has got all the ingredients, all the multivitamin, latest antibiotic. Yes. One of the meetings when Bhagwan was seated there, I ventured to say, Bhagwan Sri such a Sai Baba is our latest god, computer space age. 
Well, there was thumping response from the audience. And then Swami started his talk. I was standing by his side. He said, there is nothing like latest God. <laughs> and then he added, Satya Sai Baba, Satya Sanatana, Nithya Nutana, he said. Satya Sanatana, that eternal truth. Nitya Nutana, ever fragrant, ever vibrant, ever new. That's so. Satya Sai Baba is the combination of both then, now, and forever. What I'm trying to draw your what I'm trying to draw your attention to is this. In his all his discourses, he says this. Who are you? Somebody would say, I'm Anil Kumar or Subharao. Swami says, no, you are not. Subharao or Anil Kumar. Why? That is the name given to you. You are not born with that name on the board. Do you? No. So you are not the name. And you are quite free to change your name. Why not? Give some government gazette notification. Pay some fee. You can have bill or pill, whatever you want. Or whatever name you want. You can have it. So, you are not the name. No. Then, who are you? Somebody may say, I am an Indian. No. Tomorrow you may go to US and be an American. <laughs> NRAs. Many people are there. Americans. So, you are not the country where you stay. Because you may change place to place, country to country, from time to time. So, you are not the country you represent. No, you are not an Indian. You are not the name. Who are you? You may say, Swami, I am a professor. No, 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 no. Professor by virtue of profession. Tomorrow you can become a businessman or much worse, a politician. Why not? <laughs> a politician, why not? So, you can change your profession. So, you are not the profession, you are not the name, you are not the country. Who are you? Swami, I'm MSc. Oh, MSc, PhD. That the degrees you acquired, that you studied, that's all. You are not born with MSc. No. So, you are not the education qualification either. Who are you? So, I mean, at least I'm a man. <laughs> at least. No, no, you are not a man, I see. Why? That is only gender, that's all, gender. Only gender, you are not a man either, that's only gender. How is it, Swami? What is all this? Then Bhagwan says, if you find anybody knocking on the door, if you say, who is there? They'll say, I. Nobody will say, I, the engineer, I, the American, I, the woman, I, the man. Nobody will say that. If anyone says, this is not the place for them. <laughs> there, are, there are mental hospitals separately <laughs> open for that category, you know. Good case for psychiatry. <laughs> so nobody would say, I, that. No. I is the common answer from everybody. And that I, man says I, woman says I. Then how do you say man say and woman say? You are not the I, that's all. That I is not Indian, that I is not botanist, not a professor, I is not doctor. That I is everything but above all. It includes all, but it's exclusive again. So all that I introduce myself to others, I'm that and best. Height, weight, chest, everything is one eye, outer eye, or functional eye. Functional eye for utilitarian purpose, for your own identity to exercise your vote at the time of elections. So as to present yourself to somebody else. All this is external eye and the ego. This I 
is introductory physical I and the second aspect is the ego is I, ego. Because that, that ego expresses openly ego. As some people speak, we can easily understand he is suffering from too much of ego. He needs some treatment. <laughs> yes, too much of ego. That's also a disease, you know. We can pity them. Father, they know not what they speak. Forgive them, that's all. <laughs> so ego comes out somewhere. It takes some opportunity other to raise its ugly hood. Ego is something that we cannot avoid. Those that say, I have no ego, is man of with highest rate of ego. <laughs> Impossible. I have no ego. That I is ego. Keep quiet. <laughs> I have no ego. That's ego. So ego will somehow or other, at some place or other, in some event or other, will raise its uglyhood. This is ego. And this ego is the mind. Ego is the mind. But of course, we brush it aside, say, mind and never mind. It's not that. The mind is the ego. The mind is the outer I. Body plus mind. Body is the I. Mind is the I. Physical I. Psychological I. One, this I expresses itself physically in one direction. Psychologically, it's called ego. And then the senses. Senses. Some people say, I, I can walk briskly. Oh, oh, then you are the body. You are the body. I can see clearly. I can hear well. Senses. I includes senses. Body, senses, mind, ego. This is all the outer I or physical I. For identity purpose, for, uh, for recognition of utilitarian value, for functional purpose. This is one side of that. There is other side which we don't want to know. Because if you know the real I, the other side of the I, you lose your individuality. Just if you go to Mandir, if Sevadal stops you there, you know who I am? What? I am a VIP, you know that? Oh, in temple is VIP. In temples in front of God, how can you be VIP? Very insignificant person. <laughs> Very insignificant. So that I is affected when you are ignored. That I is affected when you are neglected. That I is, uh, is deeply hurt when you are humiliated. That I expresses itself as superiority complex or inferiority complex that way and this way, something like a pendulum that oscillates that way and this way. And is again this I that feels highly elated. If you say you are a great man, uh huh, you are recognized today. Long back I am very great, don't you know that? <laughs> oh, it gets elated. And if anyone says, I know that, that you are such a useless fellow. Oh, I am a useless fellow? We'll settle the matter outside at the end of the meeting. <laughs> at the end of the meeting, please. So, I is the one that reacts. I is the one that reflects. I is the one that gets exposed. I is the one that manifests. I is the one that reacts, as I said, to any praise or blame. I craves for recognition. I craves for recognition. So many people say, Anil Kumar, I have been doing thankless job. Why do you do that then cry? Why do you do that and cry thankless job? Somebody will say, no one is recognizing me. For whose recognition you are doing? Are you contesting the election or what? So I, this ego can be identified when it craves for identification when it reacts to praise and blame, 
and when it wants something special, something superior. Simple example, among devotees, supposing a, a man who is quite new to Prashantranayam, his Swami looks at him and smiles. He is ecstatic, first visit. He comes to Sai Center and says, Swami, look at me, smile. Instead of congratulating him, instead of sharing his joy, he look at you. I got interviewed 10 years ago. <laughs> so what? So what? Mean, I'm superior to you. And then he'll put a question, is this your first visit? Yes, sir, first visit. Oh, this is my hundredth visit. <laughs> then what? This is ego. To try to establish superiority. To crave for something special. Something great. He gave you interview? He gave me chain also. Uh-huh. He gave me watch also. So what? Meaning, he wants to demonstrate that he is superior to the other man. This is ego. So ego or this outer I has got a complex craving for superiority. It wants to achieve. Some people say that, you know, I meditate for three hours. I tell him, please meditate for two more hours <laughs> because you have nothing else to do. And people in the family will feel comfortable because you'll <laughs> remain silent at least during that time. So, it may be meditation to you, tension free to the rest of the members in the family. <laughs> when you meditate, why should I know? I don't know. Some people say, I do puja for one and a half hours. Please increase by half an hour more <laughs> so that you can shut your door and puja that so that I'll be busy in my own way. Leave me alone. This kind of publicity, propaganda, advertisement is an act of ego. It's an act of ego. When anyone says something against you, you are deeply hurt. You don't want to keep quiet. You want to react. Come on. That's again ego. If anyone sings nicely, oh, she, she sang very well. But the other fellows will say, the other lady sings better than this. Did I ask you that? <laughs> I said this lady sang well. Why do you speak that other lady who sang much better one year ago? Ego. We don't know the how ego expresses itself. It it. It says that it has extra knowledge. It's not knowledge, allergy. It's allergy. Therefore, my friends, let us be watchful of this ego. After all, spirituality is nothing but identification of the ego. Sadhana, spiritual practice, is nothing but to drop that ego. So that we'll develop that spirit of equanimity, equipoise, steadfastness. Vitaraga bhaya krodha, sthita dhirmanu ruchyate. So that you'd be esthita pragna, unruffled, balanced. That's what it is. Such a Sai Baba is topmost in giving this treatment to the people who are egoistic. Those who are near him will know the heat of it because they get burnt during that time. Yes. So if say that if anyone says, well, I, I, I was not at all, I mean, you are far away. That's it. If anyone says, I touched the fire, my hand is okay. It's not the fire. <laughs> it's not the fire. So those who are close to him, or close to him functionally, physically, will know this, that Baba may tolerate anything, but not ego, but not ego, certainly not. Then once you say, Swami, the auditorium is very clean, I got it done, you see. I got very, that's what I did. Swami suddenly stepped into the college, Brindavan, 
इसे अनिल कुमार हम इज आई टोरियन परफेक्ट स्वामी आई घाट इटली हाँ वेरी गुड देन ही आज भी कम ही है हाँ यस स्वामी गो टू दी फिफ्टीन रो चेक दी चेयर ट्वेंटी फाइव I climbed steps, 15th row, 26th chair. I could collect the seat because it's not properly screwed there. <laughs> Swami said, "You checked everything. Is that the way you do? <laughs> Is that perfection? Total imperfection. Meaning, when I said I have done it, you will get it. You will get it. On the other hand, we find some of the boys." They act in front of Swami. They sing in front of Swami. Some of the fellows are not up to the standard. Naturally, see, all cannot act of equal excellence. No, one fellow totally spoils. Totally. Swami will call him, give him ring, ring. The hero who does very well totally ignored. <laughs> Then we think, Swami, what happened to you? What's all this? Ring should go to the best actor. Not to the fellow who is spoiled thoroughly. Then behind the screen, he will say to all the other boys, "He acted from a heart, whereas you acted only. It is art. That fellow's heart. <laughs> are we heart surgeons or cardiac surgeons to see the heart or what? Meaning, this fellow will feel totally disheartened, frustrated." Because he is spoiled, Swami wants to give him some kind of encouragement, boost his spirit. You have done well. Your heart is good. You have done for Swami. You are not a stage actor. You have done first time. You have done, and then he will take him, introduce everybody. First time the fellow appeared on the dais. He appeared a number of times, but still, so <laughs> you have done very well. first time. You know, M.Sc., M.Com., B.Sc., Ph.D., D.Sc. Ah, he may be first year B.Sc. fellow. So the So that he will not be depressed, he will build a spirit. Whereas the hero who has done well, he will ignore him. After three days, he will call you have done well. That's it. That is ego. Best treatment to treat ego by Bhagavan Sri Sat Sai Baba only on earth. That's all. I'll give you another example. The uh, let me let him be any great man, Doctor Venu Gopal. Padma Bhushan, who did the first heart surgery, first heart surgery, heart transplant in India, he came to Swami, and Swami was asking, "When go up? Well, yeah, me heart attack. Why do you say that? Why heart attack?" And that man started speaking, "Swami, arteries, veins, cholesterol, tension, hypertension. Forty-five minutes discourse by this doctor." <laughs> we were helplessly listening to him <laughs> because swami is there if swami is not there he has to speak for himself <laughs> nobody would be there because of swami uh, tension at the end swami said ye ona pa inta cheptunnavu gaani bangaru heart attack three reasons hurry worry curry that's it <laughs> Only three reasons for heart attack: hurry, worry, curry. Why? Yeah. Feel forty-five minutes of discourse by Bar the Ratna. Three words: hurry, warm the chat. That is such a Sai Baba. Please understand that. And then doc the doctor fell flat. Sami, very good. That's all, Sami. Nothing else. That's all. You also must have heard of L and T Company, Lawson and Tubero Company, which is an international company. They undertake projects all over the world, and uh, they took up the project of constructing a new canteen, South Indian canteen there. And uh, that Ramakrishna, director of L and T Company, he came to see Swami Kodai Kanal to have the plans approved. And they were showing, Swami, this and this we want to. So, ah, uh huh, ah, uh huh, ah uh huh. He allowed the gas cylinder to empty itself completely. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. At the end, he says, "Adam ta na usramapa." All that is not necessary. If you do this way, it will be simple. 
cost wise cheap and work is efficient you do this way. you suggest an alternative alternative that man immediately fell at his feet and said swami you are the best engineer on earth <laughs> that is such a sai baba please understand it that is such a sai baba why he is that inner eye the outer eye claims knowledge the inner eye wisdom outer eye acquired inner eye creative innate inborn immanent latent original creative nascent spontaneous instantaneous that is such sai baba <laughs> therefore my friends outer eye is artificial outer eye is represents all that is acquired that is a possessive that is egoistic that is cunning that is political supposing if you say your speech is not nice this morning you won't accept it no i was running temperature he was not running temperature when i said he started developing temperature <laughs> my comment is the cause for temperature till then normal so he wants to defend ask a student why did you get such low marks no today i am not well oh or he will say the teacher did not teach me properly nobody owns responsibility because of this i problem i am responsible who will say that nobody would say that therefore i is cunning i is defensive outer eye is defensive outer eye is cunning outer eye is political outer eye is a jewel it is the one that divides me from you it is the one that distinguishes me from you this is duality of the outer mind so the outer mind we know thoroughly and the same outer eye the ego the mind turns inside that is all together a different world all together it is not transformation right outer eye inner eye do you mean say this has been transformed into this two sides of the same coin two sides of the same coin one expresses the other is hidden one manifests the other is he does un, other is unmanifested it looks like this how we think of this swami materialized a ring big ring and uh, he gave it to one person there all when they started looking at the ring while swami was sitting there <laughs> you know what he said i materialized the ring you are looking at the ring but not me <laughs> i created it similarly the ring is outer eye the master is the inner eye creation outer eye creator inner eye satyam jnanam anandam sarva Mm -hmm. Quick, Rabbi. It's not orchestra business. Quick, <laughs> quick. Mm -hmm. Satyam Jnana. Satyam. Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. 
about is not telling what you have experienced no Swami inaugurated Sivam a beautiful building at Hyderabad in the state of Andhra Pradesh in the year 1972 there in the dining hall I was sitting there Swami said hmm yeah Mr. Dinavani what did you study? Swami, I am botany. Aha, uh -huh, botany. Science. Aha. Yeah, me chaputu stamu satya mante. What is truth? Tell me. Science is truth, Swami. <laughs> yes. Science speaks of truth. Science is based on truth. Science is not truth. Any truth. What side of truth it is? Science says something today, tomorrow it negates tomorrow. Atom is indivisible at one time, today divisible. Virgilius hypothesis another time, Avogadro's hypothesis later, Darwinism at one time, Neo-Darwinism later. Science goes on changing. That's what Baba said. I said, truth, Mariana Pandra, when he says that. <laughs> Swami, so what? Shall I say? Science is based on falsehood and utter lies. Can I say that? <laughs> then Swami, I don't know, please you should tell me. <laughs> then Baba said, science speaks of facts, not truth. Fact is different from truth. Swami, is not truth a fact? Is not a fact true? Are they different? What do you know? Then Swami started explaining. Today, you are in blue suit. Yesterday, black suit. Two days ago, shirt and pant. Dress goes on changing, but you are same. That changelessness, changelessness is truth. That which is changeable is a fact. Equal volumes of gases and equal conditions of temperature. Temperature, pressure, that's all. They go on changing. They are facts, but you are truth. Satyam. So, inner I is Satyam, truth, changeless, eternal, blemishless, immortal. It is anindya, blemishless, avyaya, infinite, amrita, immortal. Immortal, eternal, blemishless is inner I. Satyam, Jnanam. Jnanam means what? Not knowledge, not information. Knowledge is allergy. Because most of the fellows who are knowledgeable, 
they have no knowledge at all <laughs> yes swami said as uh, talking about uh, newton i believe while is working in the laboratory but yeah at home you know uh, goes on writing and scientist and he has got a pet cat at his uh, residence it goes on disturbing him so he called the carpenter asked him to make a hole on the door so that it can go and come back nice airport exit entrance so that it can go without disturbing him all right it was jumping around after some time that cat gave birth to three kitten he called the carpenter again make three more holes <laughs> for them to go. three more the carpenter sir one hole is enough three holes for kitten big hole for mother cat is not so sir that swami this is knowledge absence of common sense only borrowed information bookish knowledge second hand information qualification for a job to eke out of your living that's all knowledge is acquired knowledge is learned knowledge is something given to you knowledge is something passed on from one generation to the next generation it is a teacher who teaches you making you knowledgeable it is knowledge that gives you status dignity in the society it is not the knowledge that's important it is wisdom outer eye knowledge inner eye wisdom what is wisdom swami explains this way ant ant will know the sugar particle it will not collect sand particles sand and sugar mix ant will pick up sugar only not sand ant has no phd no. <laughs> ant did not attend the university of california no it can pick up correct sugar that is wisdom and not only that the newborn calf will go to the cow to draw milk out of the udder of the cow not from the tail it will not go to the tailor like to that who taught it any training classes some are crash courses <laughs> some are core or crack courses nothing like that you are born with wisdom you go to sleep and enjoy nice sleep yes oh good who wakes you up next morning if no one wakes you up next day will be declared a holiday <laughs> who wakes you up by the time you wake up you know who is who you know your brother you know your mother if you start looking like that the whole family will cry <laughs> what happened to this fellow <laughs> how do you know who is who by the time you get up who reminds you you see the mind no while in deep sleep mind was missing therefore my friends the one who wakes you up the one who makes you aware what you are nobody needs to tell me the moment i get up you are mr anil kumar you are from such a institute you are put about nobody tell i know that what, what is that awareness that is gnana that is gnana the wisdom satyam gnanam anantam infinite infinite that awareness in you is in everyone that awareness is present all over the universe those of you who had been to puttaparthi who had the glimpses who had the taste of his nectarine or nectarous divine discourse would be able to follow i'll give a uh, english translation also kramam utappaka bhanudu udayas tamayamula nandanele ಗಗಮನಮುನ ಕಾಂತಿ ಕೈಸೆಯುತರಲು ಪಗಲು ಮಾತ್ರ ಮುದಾಗು ಭಂಗಿಯಲ 
అనిశనం తాపవనుండు జివకోటుల బ్రోవ సదా ఫివనేల కిల కిల నవ్వు చుధ్వనుల నదులు సలిలము భంగి ప్రవహించు చందమేలా భువిని ఎందు చూచిన భ్రమయేలా ఎవని ఆనతి ఇట్లు జరుగుచుండు అతడే ఇతడని ఇతడే అతడని సర్వులకు అధిపతి అని కంచరయ్య దట్ ఈ ది డిక్లరేషన్ ఆఫ్ స్వామి సర్వులకు అధిపతి అని కంచరయ్య ఐ గే యూ అప్రిషియేట్ ఇట్ క్రమము తప్పక భానుడు ఉదయాస్తమయములను అందలేదా వై సన్ సెట్ అండ్ సన్ రైజ్ సన్ విల్ నెవర్ గో ఆన్ ఏ హాలిడే సన్ విల్ నెవర్ ఆస్ ఫర్ ఎక్స్ట్రా శాలరీ ఇంక్రిమెంట్స్ సమ్మర్ వెకేషన్ ఆర్ లాంగ్ ట్రిప్ సమ్వేర్ ఎల్స్ టు అదర్ ప్లానెట్స్ హీ విల్ నాట్ సే దట్ హీ విల్ నెవర్ బాయ్ కాట్ వై గగనమున కాంతి కైసేయు తారలు పగలు మాత్రము దాగు భంగి ఎలా ద స్టార్స్ ద గ్లిటర్ ఇన్ ద నైట్ దే హైడ్ దెమ్ సెల్స్ ఇన్ ద డే వై వై నాట్ దే షైన్ ఇన్ ది మార్నింగ్ ఆల్సో వై డి యూ ఫైండ్ ద కూల్ బ్రీజ్ సప్లైయింగ్ ఆక్సిజన్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ వై హూ ఈస్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ దిస్ who is controller of the all this who is the owner who is the director who does it why the rivers flow down the valley up the hill with a beautiful sound the rivers that flow why baba says this please note this point yavani anati idi itlu jaruguchundu under whose control authority all this happens అతడే ఇతడని ఇతడు అతడే నన్ను చూ దట్ కంట్రోలర్ ఈజ్ మీ ఎస్ ఐఎమ్ దట్ కంట్రోలర్ సర్వులకు అధిపతి అని కంచర్రయ్య ఐఎమ్ ది మాస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ద యూనివర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ సచ్ సాయి బాబా దట్ ఈస్ సచ్ సాయి దట్ ఈస్ సచ్ సాయి బాబా దర్ ఫర్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ది ఇన్నర్ ఐ దట్ ఈస్ ఇన్నర్ ఐ భగవాన్ is present within every one of us just as our friends sing that song can we do that antaranga sai anadhanad sai antaranga sai anadhanad sai దీనబంధు సాయ కరుణ సింధు సాయ దీనబంధు సాయ రామకృష్ణ శివ శక్తి ప్రేమ రూప సాయి రామకృష్ణ శివ శక్తి ప్రేమ రూప సాయి యుగా శ్రీ సత్య సాయి యుగా ప్యూర్ హార్ట్ ఈజ్ ద టెంపుల్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఈశ్వర హృదేశయ అర్జున తిష్టతి భారత గాడ్ ఇన్స్టాల్స్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ గాడ్ ఈస్ సీటెడ్ ఎట్ ద ఆల్టర్ of your heart antaranga sai is within you that is inner i is not bahiranga sai there are some people uh, swami sang are lopal chesko lopal chesko do namaskar within and there are some people who do like that em stunt stunt master chesta undave what is all that exhibition he knows outer i is doing that if it is inner eye you salute within yourself you do namaskar within you so inner eye is outer eye is individual inner eye is universal this outer eye is limited while inner eye is so vast infinite outer eye differs differs inner eye is uniform 
this outer eye is jewel inner eye is non jewel outer eye physical inner eye spiritual vast difference but what we need is awareness what we need is awareness swami says that see number 1 number 5 which is a higher number we say 5 no no 1 swami is one is higher why swami 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5 without one where is 5 there is no 5 without this one that one is such a sai baba the inner eye that inner eye that one is such a sai baba that one the only one bhagwan sees such sai baba the inner eye that is such sai baba what i want to tell you always says that there is another instance i should draw attention swami is standing like that one boy after another boy coming having individual photographs with swami one boy after another then it was my turn i also had for picture with swami and then i did not go i was still standing there swami said your turn is the over why are you there swami i'm just watching then swami said what is that you are watching i am watching a fact that you are more handsome than all the boys than all of us put together than all of us do you know what baba said yema pa sachu sai baba satyam shivam sundaram satyam shivam sundaram satyam truth shivam awareness sundaram beauty truth goodness beauty sachu sai baba the inner eye the inner eye that's that's what in the right and further bhagwan explains see this chura anil kumar ye okar tarvata osta unnaru pota unnaru osta unnaru pota unnaru one after one they come here take a picture and go swami is like that creation jagat jagat it comes and goes swami i remain like eternal jagadishwara divine is eternal jagat comes and goes like passing clouds what more explanation anyone can give on earth today other than such sai baba that is such sai baba that is what you call the inner eye the inner eye outer eye comes and goes while the inner eye remains like that somebody said swami why do you put me to suffering why do you put me to suffering why me only and you want somebody else to suffer <laughs> some people say why me only meaning why don't you transfer to other fellow i am ready to donate my suffering to that man because <laughs> i am a man of sacrifice <laughs> uh, why me only and so there is somebody who says swami you have protected me swami you have given my life you brought me to life when i was in danger you saved me are chhod to sit down now baba says this everything comes to you as a matter of reaction reflection and resound i don't give i don't take i don't punish i don't reward everything is reaction reflection resound as is the foot so is the belch as is the cloud so is the rain as is the action so is the reaction as is the seed so is the fruit as is the floor so is the bread as is the flame so is cooking am i right therefore these are the examples from swami all that i have been telling only from sai literature therefore the whole world revolves around reaction reflection resound the outer eye whereas the inner eye sarva karma sakshi bhut sach sai ram sharanu 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 sai ram ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವಾಂತ ಹೇ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ 
ಸರ್ವ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಸರ್ವ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭೂತ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭೂತ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಶರಣು 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 ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಶರಣು 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 ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಸರ್ವ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಸರ್ವ ಮಂತ್ರ ರೂಪ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭೂತ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭೂತ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಶರಣ 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 ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಹೇ ಶರಣ 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 ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಚ್ಚ ಸಾಯಿ ರೌಟರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ ಆಕ್ಟ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ ಔಟರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ವೈಲ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಉಪದ್ರಷ್ಟಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಭರ್ತ ಭಕ್ತ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಐ ಸೊ ಔಟರ್ ಐ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಐ ದಿ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವೈಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ so outer eye inner eye are not different inner eye projected outwards as outer eye to know this to understand this is called self enquiry atma vicharana to exp- the process is meditation or dhyana to experience is atma sakshatkara the manifestation of the inner self cosmic self universal self i have here in front of me the time keepers warning me that it's time to wind up <laughs> so thank you very much sai ram sai ram <laughs> now my friends if you are really if you are really understood what i should say it will be put to test now jai bolo bhagwan shri sat sai baba ji ki jai jai bolo bhagwan shri sat sai baba ji ki jai jai bolo bhagwan shri sat sai baba ji ki thank you sai ram